Pony in Hyrule by Pushai 2009 Chapter 4 Hey, have you seen Green anywhere? Fire asked one of the guards. Yes, sir, he replied. He walked in a few hours ago and hasn't come out yet, the guard told him. Great, thanks, Fire said. Oh, yeah, and could you ask Mr. Stitch to send three single beds and a large pile of hay to my cottage? Fire said. Yes, sir, right away. The guard walked off through a corridor to his right and rounded a corner. Now then, where's Green? Fire said to himself. As if answering his question, he heard footsteps coming down some stairs. It was Green. What are you doing here? Green said, angrily. Looking for you, Fire answered. Just leave me alone, will you? I'm not in the mood to be lectured on the importance of special magic talking ponies, Green said. That was bad of you, Green. You had no right to kill those ponies, Fire said. Go away, Green shouted. Look, I know you're still worried about Zelda going missing, but you can't just blame it on the closest thing to a hero, a human there is, Fire said. Fuck off, Green shouted, even louder. Fire stood there, shouting his head, then turned around and started to walk out of the castle. It was getting dark now. He walked out of town and across Hyrule Field to his house on the edge of the woods. I hope Green is okay with the girls staying here, thought Vio. To the dark world, what Green would say, said half of Vio's mind. What would that guy say, said the other half. He sighed. Either way, they didn't have anywhere to go and must be shocked at being transported to a different dimension full of bipedal monsters and almost being killed by one. He knocked on the door of the house. It opened almost instantly, and he saw Red. Vio, you're back, he said, as Vio walked in. Yeah, he said. Almost everyone, and every pony, who now lived in the house were in the room. Fluttershy, Applejack, Twilight, Pinkie Pie, Blue, Red, and Vio. The room was actually quite big now that Vio thought about it. More furniture, now that he thought about it. Two large sofas, an armchair, a small table and a few chairs were scattered around the room. Vio sat down on the sofa next to Red and Fluttershy. Hey Vio, you hungry? said Blue from his spot next to Applejack. Nah, I'm good, thanks, he replied. You know, it's getting late, said Twilight. We should go to bed. Yeah, good shout, Twilight, said Blue. I'm pooped. They all got up and walked out of the room. Vio and Fluttershy stayed. He looked at her and was surprised to see that she was crying. Hey, are you okay? Vio said, confirmed. Y yes, I'm just so upset that Twilight and the others almost died earlier. She was crying harder than ever. It's okay, he said, comforting her. I'm not going to let anything happen to you or your friends, Vio said. She buried her face in his chest and hugged him tightly. You're a real friend, Vio, she said. He was glad to see her calm down. I think I should... Oh, oh, don't go yet. Your heartbeat is so relaxing, she said. She had her eyes closed. Oh, so cute, Vio thought. Right then, the front door burst open. Vio and Fluttershy broke apart quickly. Green. Look, Vio, I'm sorry about earlier. I'm just so stressed out about Zelda, Green said, looking sorry. What's she doing here? Green asked. She's staying, Vio said, his eyes narrowed. So are the ones you almost killed. To Vio's surprise, Green smiled. I guess it's the least we can do, he said. Green, I'm disappointed in you, attempting to kill innocents in public, he said. Vio expected him to say that he had no authority over him, as Green was one of the most highly respected people in the world. But he didn't. And you'll be taking the day off tomorrow to introduce yourself to our new guests, Vio said. All right, said Green. I'm just so sorry, he told Fluttershy. I don't know why I tried to do that. It's fine, she sniffed. I'm just a bit upset, though, she said. We would get to bed, Vio said. They got up and walked to their rooms. Night, Fluttershy, said Vio to her. Night, Vio, she said as she opened the door and walked in. Red and Blue were luckily already asleep. Vio got into bed as he heard Green get into his bed. Oh yeah, one thing, Vio, he heard Green say to him. Yeah, Vio said. 
You and the little yellow pony look so cute together, Green said, grinning. Shut up, said Vio, also grinning.